So at this point, you should have a document that looks similar to mine. Uh, basically, it's just plain old HTML. It has, you know, header one, header two, and inside it has a dictionary list, a DL, and in there it has the term, the dictionary term, the the DT, and the dictionary description, DD. Um, before you move on from the HTML part, you need to make sure that it fully validates, right? Because you don't want to build anything on top of a uh, a shaky foundation and your HTML is your foundation so since my document has passed the next thing I want to do is well I want to bring in jQuery into my website allow jQuery functionality now you've obviously if you're if you're this far into your web design career you've worked with CSS and you know how you could cre you create an external style sheet and in that external style sheet, you put all your styling, uh, your styling stuff in there to style the content on your web. And then you have to put a link inside of your HTML to that style sheet, right? And that's how it knows to pick up those styles. Well, the exact same paradigm uh, with JavaScript or jQuery exists. Now, I'm using, I say JavaScript or jQuery. Let me just be clear. jQuery is JavaScript. It's a whole bunch of pre-built functions that it has. It's a pre-built functional framework that it builds in JavaScript for you. So I mean it'll do effects like, uh, like let's just say a fade-in effect, right? Now if you had to build a fade-in effect from the ground up, it's probably more complicated than you want it to be and likely, hey, you never use it. So what jQuery did is they just built this library of functions for you to use. So anyhow, the first step to using jQuery is to find it, is to link to it. And there's two ways to do it. The first is, if you just go, I'm just going to start with jQuery.com. There you'll see where you could download the file and bring it right to your, you bring it locally to your computer and, well, here it is. But I don't really want to download this to my computer right now. And mind you, I don't want to use this link. I want to use it through a content delivery network. Uh, content delivery networks are uh, basically places that host files and deliver them to you in a smart way. For example, say when you go to YouTube and you're looking at a video, uh, there's obviously YouTube, those videos live on servers all over the world, right? But if you're looking at the video from California, the way you see that video the best, you know, like it'll come to you the fastest is if you are accessing it from a computer that is in California, right? Obviously, if Google, well, Google happens to be in California, but that, well, let's just use Germany as an example. Obviously, if you're in Germany and you want to watch a YouTube video, you don't want to have to link to a computer in, you know, uh, Sunnyville where they're at or Mountain View. You, you, you would get faster, a faster uh, download of it or whatever, or streaming, if the computer was set up in Germany. That's actually what a CDN does. A CDN is, it has some smart technology behind it that figures out where you are and it's going to send that to you with one of its servers that's closest to you. I mean, that is a very, very uh, basic definition of it. But CDNs are used for all sorts of stuff, main, like especially video. But you also could use it for getting it from jQuery so uh, or to get jQuery to your site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go jQuery Google CDN. Google uses jQuery, so they actually host it as well. And if you kind of look around, you should see um, a link similar to this one. ajax.googleapis.com, blah, 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 all this. Now here's the link. And when I click on this link, I should, and there it is, and here's here's actual jQuery so um, all this crazy coding over here is what some very smart people already did for us and yeah I wouldn't want to be the the guy uh, having to make this from scratch for my websites so really uh, 
these people are great for publishing this for us. And here's the URL. But the one thing I notice about this URL over here is that when I just kind of like just reading the URL, I see that it's Ajax Libs jQuery, then 1.4.3 forward slash jQuery.min.js. I know I'll kind of I know what all this means. First off, all this is obviously Google's domain. So this is where they're hosting it, Ajax library, blah blah blah. And and this this right here is telling me this is jQuery and this is version 1.4.3. Now at the time of this recording, um, I know they're on version 1.4. 4.4 and if I want to verify that I could just go to jQuery and right on their on their home page you see right here that the main that the current version is 1.4.4 um, this has been out for a little bit now likely likely that by the time you see this video they'll be up a couple of versions or or one or two whatever but since this is version 1.4.4 and I kind of was looking online and just found this one that's the 1.4.3 I bet you if I change this number from 3 to 4 boom what happened I now I have the latest one so maybe if you rewind this video a little bit you'll see that before it's at 1.4.3 now why do they have the older version on there too because you know there's other people who have already made web pages and use this link in their page and if they change the link that means all those websites that actually link to that one uh, 1.4.3 are going to break. So, okay, so that's the CDN. And now actually let's link this to our page. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this URL. And now I'm going to put it in my web page. I'm going to go just right in design in a code view. And in my head over here in the head portion of my document, I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to type in script and then the source and now I'm just gonna paste that right in there and then I'm gonna close it um, you know there's one thing I do know that I need to do for this is for my script since I'm using uh, the XHTML 1.0 strict I need to make sure that I define a type for this but you know what let me let me actually upload it first I, I know this is not the right way but at least this way you'll get to see what happened with the error if you get this error so here we are so here's my script here's the link that we're linking to jQuery and then when I try to validate my code yeah there we go I get a I get an error that tells me I didn't specify a type um, because strict wants you to specify a type like if it's CSS you need to uh, type text forward slash CSS but for for this one the type is JavaScript so I'm gonna just snag that and I'm pop it right in here so basically it'll be type dot script alright you know what honestly I'm not always um, typing stuff in manually it's like now that I have this link set up like this in the future when I want to add uh, like jQuery to a, another project I have or add more stuff to it you know, I'm just gonna copy and paste this from this document to another you know what I mean uh, this is more for just to show you and, and how I kinda start it um, but really you should be spending most of your time copying and pasting stuff as opposed to actually typing it out because that's where most errors with this kind of thing happen uh, due to syntax. So let's see what we have now. I'll refresh this and let me validate it again. All right, great. So now it's clean and my document is has jQuery linked to it. Um, that really doesn't mean anything yet, right? Because it just I'm just linked to it. I haven't actually executed any uh, jQuery functions yet.